Marcus Conti reporting on the state of our elections. Now, is it hyperbolic, hyper, hyperbole to say that our elections are vulnerable in the United States, our elections are rigged, while our politicians scream from the rooftops that, uh, that, we, that uh, the elections were hacked, the elections are, are not rigged, they're hacked. Right? Is it hyperbole to say that we have vulnerable machines? Yes, yes, no, it's not hyperbole at all. And it's actually quite proven over and over again. So latest, uh, actually, this is a little late. This is about nine months ago, last summer. I guess we all missed it, or at least I missed it. November, uh, I'm sorry, August. Uh, in the middle of August last year, <clears throat> a bunch of kids went to Las Vegas. And uh, a boy, 11 years old, hacked into a replica uh, U.S. vote uh, website in minutes at a convention. And I'm going to play a video. It's it brilliant. Brilliant stuff, man. This is Reuters reporting. 11-year-old boy managed to hack into a replica of Florida's election results website in 10 minutes and change names and tallies during a hacker's convention, <laughs> organizers said, stroking concerns about security ahead of nationwide votes. <laughs> you think? You think that they would be, again, there's a, there's a very easy solution to this, and of course it's paper ballots. But the, the powers that be, they like it this way. They, they, this, is, this is by design, folks. It's not, this is not by chance. The boy was the quickest, the boy was the quickest of 35 children ages 6 years old to 17 who were all eventually hacked into copies of the website of six swing states. Six swing states during the three-day DEFCON security convention over the weekend. And uh, uh, the event said, the event was meant to test the strength of U.S. election infrastructure and details of the vulnerabilities would be passed on to the states. <laughs> yeah. So here's the passing on. The National Association of Sec Secretaries of State, right, the secretaries of state who are responsible for tallying votes said it welcomed the convention's efforts, but it said the actual systems used by states would have additional protections. <laughs> Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. It would be extremely difficult to replicate these systems since many states utilize unique networks and custom-built databases with new and updated security protocols. Uh, our, our election machines are our are, are own privately owned entities, right? So whoever's counting the votes, whoever has access to the machines, has the ability to, to, to hack it, right? Even an 11-year-old can do it. The hacking demonstration came as concerns swirled about election system vulnerabilities in the midterm elections. Yeah, right? You, you would think, right? Here's a, uh, a healthy aside, and we'll go back a little. I love memes, man. It's meme season, right? It's meme season. So a, uh, a CIA director, FBI director, and attorney general walk into a uh, bar. Walk into a William Barr. <laughs> Now, is this guy, William Barr, is he going to be turned out to be a corrupt scumbag, just like the rest of these corrupt scumbags uh, uh, up here? We shall find out. Am I confident that he's on, he's on the side of righteousness? He's on the side of truth and fairness? Absolutely not. Right now, he's just another turd in the, in the bowl of life, right? And, and we're either gonna, he's either going to produce or we're going to flush him. So here's, the, here's a nice video. Let's watch a video. In Las Vegas, land of luck and legend, Let's get happy. a bunch of hackers rolled the dice to see if they could expose weaknesses in our elections. And they did. Some while playing a winning hand, a hand with yellow fingernails, cartoons, and stuffed animals. I am 11 years old. I'm 11 years old, 7 years old, 11 years old, and 7 and a half. These kids managed to manipulate replicas of election night results pages in key battleground states from 2016. We're moving to Iowa. Pages built, organizers say, using actual vulnerabilities previously reported. Is this pretty easy for you? Yeah. To prove it, Jonathan Lenski from New Hampshire made it appear as if I won the election. Oh my gosh, and there's my name. 87 billion votes. Wow. <laughs> is this just for show? No, so this is not make believe this is stuff that's actually happened. Jake Braun helped organize the vote hacking village at this year's DEFCON. 
the world's largest convention of hackers. Ah, oh, there you go. Hundreds of whom scanned, screwed, what do we have here? And sabotaged. Not are you sick yet? Are, are you sick at, at what you're watching yet? Because, I, I mean, it's, it's funny, but it's incredibly sad, really, when you think about it. Nine different types of actual voting equipment. You're looking to hack it. Yeah, basically. Why? I want to help secure these things. Among the flaws hackers say they found, a voting scanner and tabulator still used in up to 24 states, according to the group Verified Voting, with no password or software verification to prevent it from being overridden. A touchscreen voting machine that hackers reprogrammed to play music and animated clips. And an electronic poll book machine that signs in voters on election day hacked in five seconds, potentially exposing unencoded personal information on voters. Many of the local election officials take this defensive posture and think, oh, well, we're criticizing them. Like, we're not criticizing them. We're saying, hey, look, the game has changed. It's not about them. It's about... I'll criticize them. I'll criticize them. Yes, we are criticizing you because they're, they're look, the politicians know what's going on. What do you think that they're, they're 11 year olds? Do you think they're children? Of course, the our elected officials know the vulnerabilities. But if they're elected, then they, they like the, they like the cheating, right? Because once you're in, you're in. Once you're in the team and you cheat for the team, you stay on the team, right? Until you until you decide like like you're going to cheat against the, the the team. Like for example, Ocasio Cortez, right? She's 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 got her own mind, although it's probably broken. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, she's speaking her own mind, and you see how the Democrats are now going to try to line up to to get rid of her by, of course, rigging the machines is always the option. About protecting our democracy. Even though 100 local election officials came to DEFCON, the National Association of Secretaries of State criticized the hacking as a pseudo environment that in no way replicates accurate protections. We reached out to two of the biggest manufacturers in the industry, Dominion and ESNS. Manufacturers in the industry, there they are, Dominion Voting and ESS. These are the people that make the machines, right? They, it's private, right? So if they make the machines, you don't think they know the, the back door of these machines? This is not, this is not a, 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 you can't verify if privately held corporations and companies are controlling the hacking, hacking machines, uh, controlling the voting machines, who's controlling the, the corporations, Right? That's what you got to find out, right? These are all, I guarantee if you look into, the, into who owns these machines, it all leads back to the big money. In a statement, Dominion cautioned its best practices do need to be followed to ensure the integrity of the unit. ESNS told us physically accessing these machines in a polling place would be difficult, if not impossible. Having said that, we welcome the input from the voting village and constantly work to bolster security. That's simply not what what that guy just said is simply not true. You saw in Florida alone, I interviewed Tim Canova. You remember Tim Canova? He ran against Debbie Wasserman Schultz down in Florida, and he testified. You know, he he said to us that that uh, there was no uh, chain of custody with the machines. In other words, they do the election, they pack up the machines, and the machines go out the back door, and then. You know, 20 minutes later, they give you the vote, right? It's, it's like they could even just make it up, right? And there's no paper trail at all. There's no way of verifying any of the truth. Right? In, again, in Florida, they're, they're doing a Florida machine. Remember in Florida? Uh, Brenda Snipes, right? She was, she, she was caught openly uh, destroying the, the, the physical paper ballots, right? Uh, under, you know, under a subpoena, right? So not, even if there is a physical paper ballot by the the establishment they could still destroy them what we need is a receipt like a like an atm machine you go in you vote and 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 out comes out comes your 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 receipt with your name on it maybe yeah put your name on it why not what's the big secret put your name on it who you voted for and the date and blah 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 and and we're good to go Ooh, yeah, baby. Even if a voting machine is not hacked or ever connected to the internet, there are ways to affect the results, researchers tell us. A very accurate replica. John Sebus of the Open Source Election Technology Institute in Silicon Valley set up for us a replica tally manager, software that adds up results from the precincts after the polls close. Go. We timed how long it would take to change the winner. It's loading the data. Using a single disk with malicious software brought back from a mock polling place where the machines were never connected to the internet. And here we are, we're done. So 22 seconds 
and you've just changed who won that election. Yes. We think these are very important systems and deserve the very best, not only in security, but engineering and in design and experience of the people. They're that important. But so far, not all systems are the very best. Just this week, a group of researchers announced they found nearly one out of every three candidates for the U.S. House of Representatives has campaign websites with some sort of security error. What is your message to the American? Security error. Right? Security error. We've seen, we know that it's rigged. We saw evidences in the exit polling. Exit poll is when someone walks into a polling station, votes, and comes out and says, who'd you vote for? It's, it's 98% accurate, right? If it's more than 2% off, it's considered election fraud in, in most countries. Here, it, during 2016, not 2018, because there was no, we canceled the polling. We canceled the exit polling. But in 2016, before they canceled the exit polling, it was off 12, 15% all over the country, right? It's evidence of, of election rigging. People. Work on your computer security, people. All in right. Las Vegas, I'm Chief National Investigative Correspondent Mark Albert. It's, it's really, it's really, it's a wonderful piece. My name is Cordy, and I am seven. Seven. I'm Audrey Jones. Um, I'm 11 years old. My name is Jonathan Linsky, and I'm 11 years old. My name is Alex, and I'm 7 years old, and I'm hacking into voting. Unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Right? So the elections are rigged, right? We got rigged elections. Let's look at one more, right? So here's a... Uh, his burn, burn. Here's a here's a little campaign, a little a little information, right? Just on who do we'd rather pick the rigged the rigged candidate, Bernie, uh, uh, Joe shit sandwich Biden, or the tried and true Bernie Sanders, right? Medicare for all, Biden opposes it, approves. Look, look at look at this on every issue. This idiot. This is the corporatist hack, the guy that they're gonna rig the election against. This guy, this guy, they're gonna he's the he's they're gonna they're gonna get the. Even an 11 year old can tell you that, that the elections are rigged. So they're going to rig it. The Democrats are rigging the primary for this shit sandwich against the America. America, 70% of America wants this guy, Bernie Sanders, right? Medicare for all. Biden opposes it. Sanders approves. Expanding Social Security. Biden opposes. Student debt, affordable college, opposed. Bernie approves. Provide living wage, opposed. How do you oppose employees making a goddamn living wage? And privatized prisons, no, uh, uh, you know, Biden likes that. Biden wants uh, privatized prisons. Break up the banks, suppose. Close corporate loopholes. Biden is against every goddamn thing. Is he for anything? Oh, yeah. Support for a job-killing China trade bill. <laughs> Biden likes that one. He, he voted for that one. Bernie opposed it. Support for Trans-Pacific Partnership. Biden was one of the, the key engineers with, with Obama and Hillary, remember? The TTP, the TPP, the trans TPP, they, they fucking ran that TPP shit down to fucking every day. Every day you heard TPP. Uh, so, so our elections are rigged. 11-year-olds proved it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, the young folks out in, in uh, Las Vegas on a vacation or whatever it is. Showing us our vulnerabilities in the hacking machine. Look, we got to go to paper ballots. It's very, very simple. Go paper ballot, right? And we have a paper evidence. And when it, when the elections are off, we could all show up at the polling space and say, "Pow! Here's my ballot. Here's my murder freaking ballot. This is my this is my vote. What you got on that piece of paper is bullshit. This is this is the real this is the real deal." Mark Scotty reporting. Kindly become a Patreon of this uh, channel if you can, and. Uh, if you can make a one-time contribution at the at PayPal me. And uh, also you can buy stickers on eBay. Marcus Conti reporting.